Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you have seen, is my review on the Nothing Phone 1. This phone came out pretty long ago, around mid of last year, and I didn't do a review on it till now. And one of the reasons was because I didn't get this phone back then. The moment this phone came out, I watched the MKBHD review and I was really excited on getting this phone due to the Glyph interface on this phone. It was really cool to see a phone with lights for notification and things like that. Basically just having LEDs at the back of the phone. So that was really something very interesting and very unique to me. So the moment this phone came out, I really wanted to take a look at it for myself. And whenever I go to shops and I see these display sets, the, the Glyph interface really amazed me. And I always wanted to get but this being a mid-range uh, Android phone, I didn't really get it. I was really curious about the Glyph. So I decided to get it. But even after getting the phone, I didn't have any thoughts on doing a review on it. I was just basically getting it just to for myself to use and just try out this phone and see how it is. Because this is a pretty cheap Android phone, around $600 I guess. So it's kind of still a mid-range phone. Nothing compared to the newer S23s or the iPhone 14 or maybe back then to the iPhone 13 and the S22. So I was really kind of half minded on getting this phone but I really wanted to get it and just try it out for a week at least, borrow it from someone and just try it out but I really didn't do it. So after buying this phone about one month ago, I didn't want to do a review on it because first thing I didn't, I didn't have any plans on doing a review and secondly it's going to be around a year since this phone came out so technically it wouldn't be that worthy of my time to just do a review on it. But after using this phone, my perspective on this phone changed a lot. I was really hyped of getting this phone. I was really hyped for this Glyph interface. Very, very hyped for this Glyph interface. But now, I don't think I can say the same anymore. Because firstly, my Glyph is turned on, but sometimes I do turn it off too. And sometimes I don't even realize that the Glyph is turned on. Let's take a closer look on that when we dive into this video. So without further ado, let's get started into the video so here's the phone the nothing phone one mine is the black color edition and here we can see the nothing logo printed on it and we have the glass back before we start off anything like in all our reviews ports and the physical buttons on this phone let's go here's the power button and here's the antenna band followed by the volume rocker up and down buttons and at the bottom here we have the and at the bottom here we have the sim tray followed by the USB-C port for charging and the speakers and if you go to the top here we have the microphone array and if you go to the back that is where the uniqueness of this phone is the LED lights and the transparent glass back of this phone followed by two rear cameras a lot to talk about this phone so without further ado let's dive into this phone now before we proceed on with any other test as usual let's start off with Geekbench so here we are inside Geekbench so we're just gonna run the CPU benchmarks. A few moments later. Okay, there we go. After a long time, the Geekbench score has been completed. The phone is pretty warm. That's actually expected. So here is the GPU compute benchmark. It's got 1012 in the single core and 2733 in the multi core. Now let's take a look at the compute benchmark. We're just gonna run compute benchmark. So let's just wait for that to be over. 15 minutes later. There we go, the scores for the Geekbench is out and we can clearly see from the score 2046 that this phone is in fact is definitely a mid-ranger phone because no flagship phones will score a score of 2004 Geekbench and of course you can't expect much from a phone which we all know is a mid-ranger now, now that they're done, let's move on to the other components of this phone this phone was announced back in July 12 of 2022 and it has been on sale since July 16 of 2022. The weight of this phone is around 193 grams, pretty light phone compared to the other normal phones and it has Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and the back. The frames are made out of aluminium and the best feature of all, the SIM card tray which has dual physical SIM slots which is one of my favorites. Of course it's it's never wrong to have two SIMs so that's kind of good and of course followed by that we have all the LED lights as you can see here at the back of this phone. And those are for, of course, notification, charging, and all that. But we shall take a look at it later. This Nothing Phone 1 is also IP63 splash water and dust resistant. So it's not fully, it's slightly water resistant. Now let's take a look at this phone. So let's unlock it. Of course, this phone has both Face ID, which I just used, and it also has fingerprint unlock, which is optical under display fingerprint scanner. 
now that this phone is unlocked let's take a look at the screen of this phone it displays a 6.55 inch OLED display 120 Hertz and a peak brightness of 700 nits as you can see here and this phone also has always on display so so let's not forget about that now as for the specifications of this phone this phone is a 128 GB model like I said black color and it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G plus chip definitely one of this one of those mid-range of chips and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM the software is the nothing OS 1.5.2 which is also Android 13 this is just Android 13 with the nothing OS skin and of course a few specific features like the glyph interface for the nothing phone this is HDR video and it's running at 4k and you can definitely see that the screen is definitely not the best screen that we have ever seen for HDR videos we can definitely see that the clarity is actually a little bit down and and the HDR is not as bright as it always is the screen is definitely not up to the quality and and we can definitely see that this is a mid-ranger just from the screen itself the screen itself just shows it out and that is also due to the pixel density because this display only has approximately 402 pixels per inch density that is really really very low compared to the normal OLED displays this phone has 120 GB of internal storage with no means of adding any extra storage so it's we are just left with the internal storage which isn't new to phones released in 2022 or even 2023 it, it isn't new all these phones only doesn't support SD card anymore but let's not talk about it because I guess SD cards are old now for phones now onto the cameras on this phone so this phone doesn't really have any fancy cameras like the thing like the 4 or 5 camera arrays on the S22 Ultras or the S23 Ultras we don't really have that all we have is a simple 2 cameras one is the normal camera and one is the ultra wide so those are the only 2 simple cameras and of course it does as a front facing camera on this phone the first camera is a 50 megapixel uh, wide camera with 1.9 aperture and the second is a is a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera with aperture of 2.2 so very basic cameras 50 megapixels each so we can't really expect fantastic photos from it and as for the front facing camera the front facing camera is a 16 megapixel camera and you can only record videos at 1080p 30 frames per second very very basic cameras but these cameras i guess are really good enough for all the daily tasks that we need to do now let's take a look at the photos and videos taken from the from the rear camera from the front facing and the rear camera of this phone is it decent is it really good and, and of course let me know how the speaker quality is how the microphone quality is too Here I am recording from the Nothing Phone One's rear rear camera. I'm recording in 4K. Take a look at the video and tell me how the video and the microphone quality is on this phone. Now that we have taken a look at the cameras, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the speaker quality on this phone. So here I have NCS. Let's play it and take a look at the sound quality on this phone. So that is the sound quality on this speaker even though this isn't really a, such a fantastic volume with a really good sound quality it just blasts out sound this enclosed area so the speaker sound volume will definitely be more amplified than it actually is so let's take that with a pinch of salt so the speaker quality it's it's definitely mediocre of course it's the, this is definitely a mid-ranger phone and it's definitely mediocre you can't really expect much from that now onto the battery of this phone this phone has a 4500 mAh non removable lithium ion battery in it and it can charge at a maximum of 33 volt of wire charging USB C plugged in and it can charge at 15 watts on wireless charging and it can do 5 watts of reverse wireless charging. Yep, this phone does have reverse wireless charging too. And as for me, I have been shooting for about for about an hour now, and the phone battery has only dropped from about 45% to 39%. So the, the battery life is really good, especially when I watch movies and things like that. And as for regular usage, this battery lasts me for pretty much an entire day. It, it lasts me for an entire day, this battery life. I have definitely ended my days on like 20% like of battery on this phone when I've really used it a lot. So the battery life is really solid 
especially when, when compared to my iPhone 13 mini, but of course the battery is bigger on this, but this is definitely a really solid battery. And as for the glitch on this phone, the glitch are really like a notification indicator. Just let you know the different notifications on this phone. Like example, for if it's charging, if you receive a call on this phone, then the notification will be LEDs just to light up. And you can definitely customize them from the settings. And let's say if you go to ringtones here, or the default ringtone. So let's just click the default ringtone and then you can just see the, how the phone lights up when there's the ringtone. Here, here you can see a demo of how the phones and you light up in a different pattern and when we have different sounds on it. So let's change to a different sound and let's see how it goes. You know, all of this is one of the ringtones. And also when you plug this phone in to the charger, as you can see here, we can see an approximate of how much the phone has charged. So there you go, this is an approximate and let me just let's wait for it to turn off and then just turns on. So we can definitely see how how much the phone has charged. So let me just leave on the table here. So two double taps and you can see the approximate of how much battery this phone has charged. So this is just an approximate one because if you want the battery percentage you gotta tick it and take a look at the percentage of these are all the features of but if I don't want it I can definitely scroll down and I can let them be off. This is also possible and it will try to turn off fully now on the question should you buy this phone this nothing phone one my answer is it's definitely subjective so if you're someone who wants a mid-range phone i can definitely 100 percent recommend you this nothing phone one without a doubt because this is definitely one of the best mid-ranger phones that i have seen before because all the samsung phones all the samsung mid-rangers definitely can't match up to this as far as what i know and as far as what i have seen so this is definitely a very good mid-ranger phone the camera is decent everything is good for like a normal user not not really much of a power user and if you're someone who fancies the really cool features like the glyph lights here then you definitely should get this phone because there are not a lot of phones which are having such unique features like this if you want to have such cool features on your phone then you can go for this and if you're on a budget you don't really care about cool phone but you just want to have a solid phone but on a budget then the nothing phone one is actually a really good deal for you to get it but the price here in singapore is actually quite expensive so i think the highest this nothing phone can go is about close to 600 to 700 dollars for this phone so when you compare that i think you can definitely compared to this you can definitely get the s21 ultra for the same price so when compared to the s21 ultra i'm pretty sure we all know the answer this phone definitely doesn't stand a chance because those are definitely better cameras and better screens so it definitely depends do you want a brand new mid-ranger or do you want to go for a one year or two year old flagship that's always the usual question but that definitely depends but a brand new phone in this category in this price point category definitely i think the nothing phone one stands a clear win because i personally have never really liked mid-range android phones or cheap android phones i've always wanted the flagship i've always been using the flagship too this mid-ranger really changed my mind that even at a slightly lower budget you can make a really good phone which is up to flagship standards if a mid-ranger no matter who i'm definitely recommending nothing phone one i'm really waiting for the nothing phone two and of course more from this nothing company to see what they are making in the future so really a good start from this company but let's see what they have in the future for us so with that that's been it for this video if you like what you saw do remember to click the like button and do remember to click the subscribe button to show your support for these videos that i'm making with that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch all of you in the next one. Bye.